created before the 1,000 years. Before the 1,000 years. So, um, yung hindi nakasama sa first kawawa raw. Kawawa. Bakit sila kawawa? They second death. The power of the second death is to them. Actually, those are the wicked people or yung Nicolaitan people, yung sarado isip, sa call of God, even Gentiles. You know, Gentiles, apart from Israel, meron din silang salvation in their own level. You know, Laban, meron siyang mga mga tagundi, mga Diyos-Diyosan. Pero hindi pa time na na-reveal yung pagsisira ng Diyos-Diyosan. Mga kamag-anak ni Abraham. Tapos, um, hindi natin pwede isipin si Abraham lang naligtas. While his story was being told in the Bible, the rest of the world goes to hell. Marami rin tinawag ang Diyos na hindi natin alam. Uh, nasa China, nasa India. No? Sabi nung Romans chapter 2 verse 14-15, um, They that are where without the law had the law written in their hearts. So this is the Old Testament. So who are those that are part of the second resurrection? Yung mga starting with the time of Cain or Adam, yung mga namatay na mga sarado, ibig sabihin, they are the people na, na naghihintay lang sa hell until the day of resurrection para ma-judge. Sino yung makakasama nila? Uh, to cut it short, kung sakali meron sinabi hindi na hindi Yung mga ipapanganak sa milenyo, meron doon element of people tutuksuhin ng diablo. Tutuksuhin sila magrebelde sa government of Jesus Christ. Pag tinukso sila, mababasa nyo siguro sa verse 7, Fire comes down from heaven, the Lord. Then, pakibasa, uh, verse 7, Brother Zion. Revelation 20. Verse 7. Baba alam natin. Revelation 27. 10 minutes prior. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. 7. Yes. Uh, 8. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, together from together, to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Okay. So, yung tinukso ng Diablo, mga pinanganak sa millennium, sa millennium, there's no pain or death. Eh. So, the, the people are geometrically marami. So, they will be, be the, the last uh, number of people entering into the eternal age. Look at your pictures. Look at eternity. Yan, so, the dulo of eternity. That's what we call the eternal age. Yung final people that will enter that, sasalain pa yan doon sa pinakarap sa milenyo. Yung nagrebelde is as the son of the sea. Pero alam niyo ba, hindi pa sila majority. They're the minority. Why do I say that? They will compass the camp of the saints in Jerusalem. Uh, verse uh, 9. Verse 18. 20, uh, verse 9. They went up on the breast of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. So the fire that came down from heaven the Lord yung nakaikot sa Jerusalem. So how about the rest of those na hindi nagrebelde? They will be judged also in the great white throne pero not in the second resurrection because they were not killed. Ito yung huli-huling part ng second resurrection. When the fire came down from heaven and devoured them, then, papasok na yung great white throne, then, re-resurrect sila ulit. Sila siguro pinakamaikli, kamamatay lang. Pag, after a while, i-re-resurrect ulit. Pero ang resurrection nila is for judgment na. So they will join the rest of the bands na mga namatay na wicked. And, ang judgment sa great white throne, ganok, dalawa. Yung mga, stand, they stand side by side yung mga nabuhay sa earth. Yung number nung nabuhay sa earth, kasing dami yan nung number ng wicked na namatay from the beginning. Tandaan nyo, kung kukunin nila yung wicked na anak nila na nagrebelde, minority pa rin yun kahit sana na si. So, kasama yung mga past na mga namatay, equal sila, naghalo sila sa earth. The earth is will become like a courtroom, courthouse. Nakalutang yung great white throne. Parang nagbago ang ano, yung, yung itsura. Tapos, parang yung langit, eh, parang haton na langit, bumaba eh. Ngayon, I, bawat isa titignan na yung works nila yung iba titignan sa book of life yung napasok sa book of life syempre yung hindi nagrebel eh, hindi sila namatay yung galing sa second resurrection yan titignan na lang yung works nila kung lake of fire sila 
Now let's talk about the first resurrection. The first resurrection binanggit yan. Let's start from verse 4. Revelation 20. Uh -oh. So okay. interchange na lang. Brother Chris, may Bible ka? Okay. Revelation 20, verse 4. 10 minutes, my son. And I saw thrones, they that sat they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands. They lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So, here in comes the mystery. Siguro majority of people think the first and second resurrection are just these two. Yung before the 1,000 years, tignan yung papel, no? may 1,000 years sa gitna. Yung before 1,000 years and after 1,000 years, akala nila, yun lang dalawa. Pero you know, this this first resurrection na binanggit yan is the last batch of three, the last, uh, a third of the bat, uh, three batches, or three phases. Ang term ng theologian niya, three phases of the first resurrection. Uh, this Yung nabuhay dyan is what we call tribulation saints. They were killed because they did not receive the mark of the beast. They came from the tribulation period. Now, what about before the tribulation? Okay? So before the tribulation, there's what we call a New Testament saints. Tignan nyo ito. Bright, no? Pakita nyo bright. That's what we call a New Testament saint. Dito meron nakikita sa cross. Look at the cross. Meron siyang arrow. That represents Old Testament saints. Arrow. Yeah, the first arrow, sa cross. Yeah. So you notice there are three of them. This is what we call the three phases of the first resurrection. The three phases of the first resurrection are all part of the first resurrection. So, siguro yung mga ano nam, uh, mga um, critic ng Bible sa sabihin, alin pa ano yung naging first, second, hindi na to. In reality. God called believers in many different time. Uh, according to their ikunare, uh, before the law, after the law, yung dumating na yung promise, then yung judgment. So, yung wicked lang ang sabay-sabay. Uh, that's what we call general resurrection. Pero yung nandito, sa first resurrection, kaya to tatlo, kasi pinapakita yung God's economy, God's grace, God's manifestation. So let's read these three resurrections. Nabasa na natin the Revelation 20. Let's open our Bibles sa New Testament saints. Siguro where you were aware sa dun sa word rapture, di ba? Okay, um, you want to skip the scripture ng rapture? 1 Thessalonians 4 yun eh. Saka 2nd, 1st, 1st Corinthians 15 dapat. Yeah, I think 15. Oo, 2nd na palagay dito eh. 1st Corinthians. Okay, um, so, itong, uh, itong scripture na to skip natin. Let's talk about yung evidence na evidence na there's a pre-tribulational rapture. Tignan yung dalawang araw sa huli. The last arrow is post-tribulational rapture. Uh, yung sa unahan ng tribulation, that's pre-tribulational rapture. What is the difference between the two? The difference is yung sa parable na wise and foolish virgins. Ang foolish virgins, ulang ang oil. Ang wise virgins, they had enough oil to make the bright room. Yung walang oil, naiwan sa dilim. So, naiwan sila sa revelation. Ngayon, let's open our Bible siguro sa Matthew chapter 24. Yung anong verse yung two women and uh, two men walking in the field, two women a sleeping bed and uh, Grinding. Yeah. Oh, two women grinding, two, two women asleep bed, and two men walking. What number is that? Okay. So, 